What is happening guys? How are you doing? Welcome back, of course, to Rule of Two Review. Today I wanted to have a quick yet pretty obvious conversation about the Nintendo Switch and when the system finally launches. Over the last few weeks I've been starting to think about exactly how popular the Switch seems to be. Then we have something like the Jimmy Fallon experiment happen where we saw it was a huge hit, very positively received, everyone is already so hyped for the Switch, and then to see something like that happen and create even more positivity and buzz is really reassuring and really exciting, but it also kind of makes me realize exactly how successful and popular and hard to find this thing may be. The real question is, with the system's launch looming just a couple of months down the road, is it going to be a case where it is impossible to find, where we're going to be fighting people in the stores and waiting in lines at 3 o'clock in the morning and scouring the internets and the Craigslists and the Ebays of the world to try to find a system that hopefully doesn't cost $10,000? And I'm starting to think that it really could be that. So that brings me to the obvious question, is the Switch going to be difficult to find and extremely successful when it launches in March? And obviously my answer is yes, I absolutely think it's going to be. Granted, this could be wrong, I could be wrong, it could go myriad different ways, but I really feel like we're in a situation where Nintendo is working extra hard, they're working overtime to make sure that the Switch is really appealing to people. And beyond just promoting it that way, I also think that the system itself was created that way. Just the concept, just the delivery of what Nintendo seems to be doing, we've all seen how that how true that really is, evidenced by that awesome reveal trailer, we have a situation where Nintendo's worked this hard to make sure that they've made a killer product. So it's really nice that it's not just a strong marketing machine and a strong promotional cycle that they're going through to make an otherwise uninteresting product seem appealing. I think it's a combination of that, their promotion and their marketing, and the fact that the Switch looks to be pretty freaking sweet. So again, coming off of all the hype from the Jimmy Fallon appearance with Reggie and Miyamoto and Bill and the Super Mario run and the Nintendo Switch and the Legend of Zelda and all that, I'm really starting to realize that we need to be double prepared for what's going to happen in March when the system launches. Um, we know that Nintendo doesn't always get the appropriate amount of stock of any one product that it makes in stores at a given time. And there's already been rumors and and you know, ideas circulating the internet the last couple of months that potentially there's only going to be 2 million or so units for the, of the Switch available at launch worldwide. Now, it could be something where it's only 2 million per territory or 2 million here in North America or whatever the case may be. But if there's truth to that number of 2 million units worldwide, that's not a lot of Switches because 2 million people is really not a lot of people when you look at the entire planet and all of the countries and all the territories where gaming is big and people are going to want to be waiting in lines to pick up their Switch. I feel like to combat this impending problem, we'd have to wish for one of two things. One, for the system to not be so appealing and so awesome looking, or two, for Nintendo to have more stock available. Obviously, the former option is not ideal. We all want the system to look great and to do great, and that's what I'm hoping for, even if it becomes hard to find, is for Nintendo's marketing to really work this time and make this thing as appealing as I think it should be. Obviously, that seems to be working with, the again, the evidence of the Switch trailer and the appearance on Jimmy Fallon and the, and the fact that we're all anxiously awaiting the January 12th event. So really, with any luck, it's the latter option that we want. We want to hope that there isn't any truth to this 2 million worldwide launch in March for the Nintendo Switch, because that just isn't going to be enough. The other thing that could be sort of determining how this whole thing plays out, of course, is the launch lineup. The one and only launch lineup that we've all discussed one trillion times over the past few months is what the heck is this thing going to launch with? Is Zelda going to be a launch title? If Zelda isn't a launch title, is it going to be Mario? What's going to happen with third parties? Are we going to get... Are we going to get delayed launches of things like Final Fantasy or Resident Evil? You know, these are all the big questions that we're talking about. And for sure, depending on that launch lineup, it might also be harder or less hard to find a Switch when it launches. Ultimately, I definitely think, A, it's going to launch with a pretty decent library. I still think, I've said this a thousand times every time I bring this up, my money is on Zelda still making it to the launch. That may not be true, and I'm prepared for Nintendo to prove me wrong there, but I really feel like... It just makes more sense, and just, damn it, I want it. That's the game that I want to launch. I'm excited for Mario, but bring that thing out later, man. I want Zelda to be at launch. I think that beyond that, it's going to have a really strong, appealing launch lineup, which is going to make people excited, and this thing is just straight up going to be hard to find. So as I've said a thousand times, again, this is a very short video, but as I've said a thousand times, be prepared on January 12th and January 13th, the day, you know, revolving around those two events that they're having for the Switch, be prepared to go and have to reserve that thing. That's my plan. We're all going to be 
running to our stores to reserve it or maybe getting online. I don't really like the idea of pre-ordering something like a console or a piece of hardware online. I need to do it physically in person so I can go and pick it up that day or the midnight before or what have you. I'll always remember when the Wii became available to pre-order and what it would have been like early 2006, I want to say, or maybe it was even late, closer to the launch period, a couple months beforehand. But it was definitely 2006, and I remember it was cold. So it was either the winter in the beginning of the year, January, February, or it was closer to when it actually launched in like August or something. Anyway, I remember that day and going to my local GameStop, which at the time was a GameStop I used to work at. And, you know, sure enough, there was a lot of people in line just to pre-order the Nintendo Wii. It was great. I even ran into a couple of people I know, some of my friends, one of my old bosses was there. It was really crazy. And uh, there was like 20, 25 people in line waiting outside in the cold for the store to open just to be the people who could reserve the Nintendo Wii. And I remember being like 13 or 14 or something. And I was so pumped. I was like, yes, I have my Wii. I ordered Red Steel. Um, I ordered, uh, oh, Legend of Zelda, of course, duh, Twilight Princess and Red Steel. And I did that whole thing, and it was crazy, you guys. And this was, again, 10 years ago, where the video game and the pre-order culture and the internet culture wasn't quite as potent and powerful as it is today. So getting these kinds of messages out didn't really feel as normal back then. So the fact that even before the damn thing launched, people were still that excited to wait in lines to reserve just to put $50 down on the thing was a pretty big deal. Nowadays, we can definitely expect the same thing. I've said it numerous times. I do think that the Switch is, luckily, emulating the kind of buzz and hype that the Wii had. Obviously not to that degree, and I don't think anything ever will again. But again, the essence of how the Wii felt, and the excitement, and the newness, and the wonder of it all, and just the fact that we we're all clamoring to play it and get our hands on it, that, to me, is present with this period now leading up to the Switch event in January, and then the eventual launch in March. It's a very interesting time. It's really crazy to see Nintendo duplicating that again. It feels great. I hope it proves to work out, both in the term, both in the sense that I want it to be successful for Nintendo, and in the sense that I want the Switch to truly be as awesome as I think it's going to be, and as awesome as it looks, and as great as, you know, we all want it to be. Is it going to have the right games? Is the promise of the handheld and home console hybrid really going to work and be delivered? Do they have the right things in place, like the correct battery life and Wi-Fi connectivity and third-party support? All these things are big questions, I believe, for the most part, in the big N in Nintendo. I think that they're doing all the right things here. Of course, January is going to be the real enlightening moment and the real eye-opener for how all of this stuff is going to tie in together with the Switch. But overall, for the most part, I think that in, that Nintendo is hitting all the right beats. It's going to be freaking fantastic. And oh my god, January is right around the corner. So that's it for today, guys. Again, a quick video by my standards. What do you think about the Nintendo Switch and its launch period in March? Is it going to be impossible to find out? Is it going to duplicate sort of what the Wii did where it's hard to find for many, many months on end? In the Wii's case, it was kind of a couple of years. I feel like the Switch won't do that. It might be something where three or four months, it's really, really really hard to find. That's kind of what I'm expecting based on Nintendo's stock and based on how much hype they now continue to build between now through the January event and then the March launch. So do you guys think it's going to be impossible to find? Do you anticipate a strong lineup and a strong launch for the Switch? I certainly do. Tell me what you guys think below. Thanks, of course, as always, for tuning in, guys. This is Rob of Rule of Review, and I'll catch you guys next time on another video.